Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll run through the features and functions as well as how to set up the Kestrel 3000 waterproof pocket wind meter. The meter comes with an attached tough carry case and an adjustable lanyard. On the meter is a replaceable impeller, temperature thermistor, LCD screen, Three buttons, the left and right are for navigation, in the centre is a power and backlight button. On the back is a pressure sensor, serial number, humidity sensor, battery compartment with a pre-installed CR2032 coin cell battery, and a helpful button reference guide. The centre button is the power button. Press this to turn the device on and off. Pressing the left and right arrow buttons allows you to access each measurement screen. The instantaneous measurement value will be displayed on each screen and this is updated once per second. The measurement icons and units of measure will be displayed in the lower line of the screen. To select the unit of measure, hold the centre button, then press the arrow on the right to scroll through the available units of measure. For wind, this is miles per hour, knots, Beaufort scale, metres per second, feet per minute and kilometres per hour. For temperature, including heat stress, wind chill and dew point, these will all be changed at the same time, you can select between Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can view the maximum and average gusts by pressing the right or left arrow until you see MAX or AVG appear on the bottom of the screen. Both maximum and average speeds will reset each time you turn the device off. So to restart averaging, simply turn the unit off and back on again. To hold a measurement on the screen, hold down the power button and press the left facing arrow. The word hold will blink on the screen. To release the hold function and resume measuring, repeat the same action. Hold down the power button, then press the left facing arrow. With the device on, press the power button and release to activate the backlight for 10 seconds. Pressing the power button again inside of the 10 seconds will turn the light off. The last feature is the battery. If the display becomes dim or disappears, you will need to change the battery. Use a small coin, a Australian 10 cent coin works well, to unlock the battery cavity and replace. Wind speed is highly dependent on surrounding obstructions such as building, yourself and the ground. With wind speeding up as it flows around or over obstacles and slowing down as it passes behind them. Even in an open area, wind speed will be slower near the ground, so ensure that you are taking measurements at an appropriate height for your application. Hold the back of the unit directly into the wind. The wind speed displayed by the Kestrel meter is a 3 second rolling average. This allows the unit to provide a value that is more representative of ambient conditions. For best accuracy when taking temperature measurements, you must keep the air moving around the temperature sensor and keep the Kestrel out of prolonged direct sunlight. If there is a strong breeze, just point the Kestrel into the wind. If there is no wind, swing the Kestrel around in a circle on its lanyard or rapidly wave it back and forth in your hand. This ensures that the sensor measures the temperature of the air rather than the temperature of the case. When equalised, the display will read a constant value. Be aware that this could take a few minutes, particularly if there's no wind. Humidity. One reason your Kestrel may not be reading accurate ambient humidity is because of proximity to humidity sources such as your hand, your body or the ground. Avoid covering the humidity chamber on the rear of the case with your fingers. Keep all fingers below the finger groove and away from the chamber opening. If a high level of accuracy is required for measurements involving humidity, do not hold the unit while taking measurements. And that's some features and measurement tips for using the Kestrel 3000 waterproof pocket wind meter.
For more information about this meter, contact an instrument choice scientist. Details are in the description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.